Hi, and welcome to The Rave Live. I'm Linda Kane. I'm with Green River Ordnance. Hello, guys. Welcome to The Rave. Hey. How's it going? Yeah. First time here? It is. It's our first time here, yes. And I know we talked about it before, but you got a chance to kind of explore the building already, huh? This place is crazy. <laughs> it's just hands down like the coolest compound. I don't know what you would call it, but it's what we were exploring all over the place. Okay, and well, we'll get into that again. <laughs> all right. First, I'm going to have you introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Jeff, and I play bass guitar. And I am Denton, the drummer. I'm Joshua. I play electric guitar. Jamie and I also play electric guitar. Well, how's the Here We Grow tour going so far? <laughs> it's uh, It's been really cool. It's um, Our album came out last year, and pretty much all last year we just opened up for a bunch of bigger bands like David Cook and Collective Soul and Gavin DeGraw and all sorts of people. And so this was like the first time we've ever done our, our own tour across the country, and we were kind of nervous. We weren't sure if people were going to come out or what it was going to be like, and, and it's been awesome. Um, we did the East Coast a, a few months ago and, th and then this tour started like a week and a half ago and mm -hmm. it's been really cool how many people are coming out and filling the rooms and the response has been good we're getting to play like a longer set than we're used to playing so it's it's been a blast sweet all right and you guys are from texas right all yep right. we're from fort worth texas all right well how did you guys all get together um we actually started the band with jamie and my older brother, brother. and i <laughs> uh, we started the band when i was 13 and he was 15 mm -hmm. um and we were just playing blues rock jam band music kind of in the, in the garage and then we met Josh Jenkins our singer um, and then Joshua and Denton shortly after and we've just been a band since high school and college and <laughs> somehow still doing it. Awesome, yeah. awesome. It's great to see the growth and everything and like you said now you're headlining your tour so it's awesome. All right let's talk about your album here Out of My Hands. Can you fill us in a little bit about it? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it's uh, called Out of My Hands. Uh, we recorded it um, about a year and a half ago now, I think. And um, it was just uh, some of the songs we've had before we were signed. And uh, when we signed with Virgin Records, uh, we wrote probably about 70 or 80 songs. And we narrowed it down to 12. And uh, the 12 magical songs. So. How did you guys narrow that? I always wonder, you know, I always hear bands saying that, you know, they have hundreds of songs written. And, but how do you narrow, down, narrow it down to like? 10, 12 songs for your album. We had an interesting voting system uh, set up. We sat in the studio, and it was us our, as a band, and then we had um, our producer, we had our A&R guy with the record label, and we all just sat around, and whenever we'd say a song, we had a little whiteboard, we'd write down the song, write down the tallies. You know, seven people raised their hand for that song. <laughs> You wrote down seven tallies next to it, and we just took whichever ones had the most tallies. It was like a huge bracket system. Yeah. And the, and the ones we couldn't decide on, we like laid them all out on the floor, and we brought in these turtles. And wherever they stopped on, yeah. that's, that's what we used. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's that a lie. That is a great idea. But that's actually how we picked the singles, was the turtle idea. It's going to be a little time consuming, huh, with the turtle. Yeah. <laughs> No, I also want to mention Easter. Um, I did see something on Twitter today about you guys saying the first person who shows up in an Easter Bunny costume gets in free, or <laughs> Yeah, <what? laughs> we'll see if that happens. And we Sweet. extended it to the entire tour, because we just, you know, I mean, you can always have a giant person dressed as an Easter Bunny at a show. Or a normal-sized person <laughs> as an Easter Bunny. <laughs> or a small-sized person. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take them all, as long as you're dressed like an Easter Bunny. <laughs> I saw you brought in the peeps. Yes, yes, we yeah. have some peeps down yeah, we, there. We've been getting a lot of Easter baskets oh, yeah? uh, for Easter. Yeah. Which is great. We, we have tons of candy in the van right now. We Too played much. some Mad Libs today, which were in one of the Easter bunny or Easter baskets, yeah. rather. In an Easter bunny. We're, we're on an all peeps diet, too, for the next <laughs> couple weeks. Going to try that out. Any other crazy items you get from fans? Um, the turtles that we used oh, for yeah, picking the, the songs. <laughs> Those were from a very interesting fan. We call her the turtle lady. Turtle girl. It's, it's weird. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we just got, there's a girl that um, came to the show early who is a teacher for preschool. She teaches four year olds. And whenever she comes to the show, she brings us pictures that her kids um, draw of us. So she brought us a bunch of pictures today. Wow. And uh, last time we saw her, we saw her in Chicago and we signed a, a poster for her and, and for her classroom. And, 
and said, you guys rock. And so she was telling us how the, the kids, she gave it the poster to, their, to her kids, and the kids went home and told their parents that rock stars came to their classroom and told them they rocked. And so she said she had these parents calling, like, did you bring a band into my kid's classroom? <laughs> and we actually have a drawing from Kayla, one of the... Is it a kindergartner? Is that right? Yeah, she's she, five years old. It's us. And it's like each one of the band members, and there's a huge dinosaur with a microphone in the bottom, and that's actually <laughs> oh, hanging up in our trailer. Oh, so. that's awesome! Very cool. All right, and then with the rave here, I know we talked about it earlier, but um, did you really get to explore the building all around, or just just like just a little hint of it? Yeah, we explored a little bit of a it. A little we, bit. There's we, much more. Yeah. Uh, I think there's to be many seen. secret passageways that we need to. Uh, be taken to. And luckily, um, Joshua has a, a ghost detector on his uh, iPhone. Oh, nice. Yeah, for 99 cents, I bought this really high-tech <laughs> ghost radar yeah. on the iPhone. So we're going to try that out. That would be awesome, though. I guess you know, we hear a lot of different stories of ghosts and yeah. orbs and stuff in pictures, but I guess I never heard about the We need ghost. to get an orb detector. Yeah. We don't have one of those. Yeah, well, that's, that's an extra 99 cents. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good upgrade, though, on, on the app. Right. Well, something special tonight. Um, you're doing the live stream for your fans today, yeah. or tonight, I should say. All right. What are your thoughts on that? Have you done that before? No, I don't no. believe we have. No, it's the first time. It's pretty exciting that uh, you know, our fans can watch us without coming to the show. <laughs> it's like what, you know, watching the football game at home. <laughs> Which is cool because we're going to be wearing our, our football pads and costumes, I think, right? Yeah. Easter it's bunny costume. Football right? theme. I think we're doing the Easter show tomorrow. With, we're oh, all going to be bunnies. Okay. So tonight's a, a football thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's going to be cool. All right. <laughs> now, have you gotten any feedback from some family or friends about any of that yet? Or Our about the, sh Easter the live costumes? stream? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, um, we'll probably have some friends back home and family watching it. Okay. Very yeah. cool. We, we tweeted, tweeted it yeah. twice. All right. We tweeted twice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably tweet it thrice also. <laughs> probably later. <laughs> Nice. All right, so what's coming up for you guys? Are you hear about some cruise coming up? or? Yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> we're going on the VH1 Best Cruise Ever is what it's called. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty hard thing about our job is you got to do stuff like that. Um, it's, a, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a cruise that goes to the Cayman Islands. And uh, it's us and Lifehouse and Three Doors Down and Shine Down and uh, gosh, who else is Safety there? Suit, Safety Parachute. Suit. It's going to be really, it's basically like a music festival on a boat going to the Caribbean. So we are pumped about that. We've, we've done a, there's a cruise called the Rock Boat that we've done twice, and we just did that in January. So uh, it's a cool thing. You get to eat a lot and hang out and get some sun and That's awesome. listen to music. That's awesome. A lot of fun and a lot of bands. I'm assuming you guys are friends with, too? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good times. All right. Well, then, you know, make sure after you get back from that cruise, stop back here at the Rave again. Right? All right. Exactly. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Looking forward to the show. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Right. Right. Thank you. Happy Easter again, by the way. Happy Easter. <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning into the Rave Live. Make sure to check out Green River Ordinance's current album, Out of My Hands. We'll see you soon on the Rave Live. Later. <laughs>